golden beets, one of my favorite vegetables. I'm going to cook these today and make slider sandwiches out of them. So watch how I do it. Maybe you'll like to do it yourself. All right, first thing I'm going to do is cut off the greens. These are really nice, healthy greens. I'm going to cut these up and we're going to include that in part of the recipe. The other thing we're going to do is slice these beets and peel the skins off and get them ready to cook in a frying pan. Now we're going to slice gonna the, beets the beets so that they can be put right in a slider sandwich. I just want to make a little bit of a flat side here so beets are very hard and so that you don't slip try to make a, a flat surface to sit it on. We're just going to cut slices that would be kind of like a hamburger in a slider sandwich. Something like that. Slice them up. Okay, we're going to put the beet slices into a frying pan. And then we're going to take the beet greens. And if they came to you as a healthy bunch of greens, sometimes uh, the greens are a little bit wilted, but these look nice and healthy. I'm just going to chop up the greens a little bit and we're going to add that to the recipe. Lots of vitamins and minerals. greens right in the pan. I'll leave most of the stems out of the picture here. And then we're going to add some shredded carrots. You can either shred them yourself or buy matchsticks carrots already <laughs> shredded, which is what I did. It cuts a big step out of the uh, work that you're going to do. So sprinkle some of those on there for some extra vegetables. And we're going to add a little olive oil and cook this until the beets are tender. Right now I'm just going to drizzle a little olive oil over this to get the cooking started. And the beets will release some of their own juices also. So I'll just get this going. It takes a little while to cook the red beet or the golden beets. But I like to hear that sizzle. Kind of like a stir fry of golden beets. Now that you have the cooking process started here, we're just going to add a little water to um, let them steam a little bit. Okay, we'll let that just uh, simmer in the waters and juices and we'll let the beets cook and we'll be back to check on this as the uh, water starts to cook out of the pan. Okay you can see that the beets are starting to cook down here and the carrots are getting a little more tender just from looking at them. While that's taking place, so it takes a little while, I'm going to melt some butter, half a stick of butter. I'm going to use full of garlic, already minced, and with the butter, and a generous amount of Parmesan cheese. And this is going to become the topping for the sliders. Okay, now in the meantime, I can get all the stuff ready. I'm going to use slider rolls sli that you would use for slider sized hamburgers. I lined a pan with parchment paper and we're going to lay a couple of slider rolls out on that pan. All right, we have six pre-sliced slider rolls. We're going to uh, take the tops off and get ready to start assembling the sandwich. Okay, the cooking's almost complete. We're just waiting for it to get a little bit more tender, but in the meantime I'm going to show you 
the butter uh, mixture is melting. I have it on my warming section of the stove. And this is with the garlic and parmesan. I'm going to use two different kinds of cheese in these little sliders. Fresh mozzarella and Kerrygold um, cashew blue. This is an Irish cheese. It's going to be delicious. So I'm going to get these ready and start assembling the sandwiches. We're going to start assembling the sandwich with a chunk of cashew blue cheese and then we we'll top that with a slice of mozzarella. I'm going to do that to each one of these and we'll be ready to add a piece of golden beef. Okay, now back to the pan. Let's take a look at are they tender enough to stop the cooking? So I'm going to take the spatula and cut through one. Oh, look at that beautiful, nice and tender. We're going to transfer this right to the cheese. Right, to build these sandwiches. And you can see we're going to add some of the carrots and just cooked greens right with it. Sure, each one of the sandwiches gets some of the delicious vegetables. And then on top of that, we're going to add a very thin slice or two of radishes. Just add a little bit of bite. It really brightens up the flavor of the cooked beets. And then on top of that, I'm going to add another slice of fresh mozzarella. I think we have enough blue cheese on the bottom of that little stack. And on top of this, I'm going to add some creamy ranch. The flavors in here are going to be bodacious. Okay, we're ready for the lids. Let's go on. And now we're going to brush the tops with this mixture of melted butter and cheese. Now I have the, the sliders separated a little bit so that the, the melted butter runs down in between each of the sliders. And that way we'll get the flavors of the butter and the garlic and the cheese all down the sides. When you pick this up to eat it, it'll be loaded with flavor. Now we're going to put these in the toaster oven today. You can do a big tray and put it in your regular oven if you like that better, but for today's purposes we're making a small batch and we can do them in the toaster oven for about 350 for about 20 minutes because all the ingredients inside are nice and hot. Okay, I'm just going to pour a little extra. Okay, stop there. Then I'm going to add a sprinkle of Parmesan because this will get a little bit toasty on the top. I got this idea from a friend that, that I worked with, Mark Barnes, and I did alter the recipe a little bit, but I think this will come out pretty good. Let's stick it in the oven. Okay, we're going to put this in the bottom rack of the oven. I'll take the top rack out first. 350 degrees, 20 minutes. All right, check this out. Look at those golden beet sliders. Wow, they smell so good. Let's put one on a plate here. Look at that stack up of cheeses and vegetables. There we go. I think this is something that you should try if you love vegetables. Thanks, Mark, for the idea. Hope you cook them, too. 
so give it a try. Thanks for watching me put these sliders together. And if you like my videos, subscribe. Stop back and see some more recipes later this week.